Bridgeport, Connecticut, an industrial city on the Connecticut coast, only an hour north of Manhattan. Nestled in a quaint neighborhood called Black Rock is Cafe Tavellini. Owners Keith and Lisa Restivo bought a successful Italian restaurant on a whim, having never worked in the business before. Lisa and I were driving past this building and there was a for rent sign on it. We didn't know the restaurant business. I'm a hairdresser by trade and Keith owned liquor stores. We had no clue. Nice to see you, nice to see you. How are you, honey? When the place opened up, it was mobbed. Doing great numbers, everybody was happy. Is your steak cooked all right? It's perfect. We were the newest restaurant around, and we were definitely riding the wave of success. Now, you walk in here on a Saturday night, you think that it's like a fucking old Western movie, like the fucking things are rolling by. I don't even want to come here tonight. Our business started to turn negative. We started to turn negative with it also. This place is really driving me crazy. My mother and Keith do not care. The two of them hate being here. Oh, my God. Michael, hate to bother you. Do you have my car keys by chance? I try to oversee um, the op full operation of the restaurant. I don't really know what Keith does here. I really don't. Don't tell, don't do tell me he's clean. Um, Like he's the boss. He says, I'm busy, I'm busy, I gotta go, I gotta go. But what are you so busy with? You don't do anything all day. You sleep till fucking 2 o'clock. You come here, you blow the patty, and then you sit home all day. Come here. You lay down here, too. I wish I had your fucking life. Why are, aren't the rest of, uh, lights on in the restaurant at 5, 5.30 at night? What frustrates me is the lack of management, period. You know, he'll sit at home and stare at the surveillance cameras. He basically nitpicks. Why is everybody sitting down here? If you have this much money into the place, why aren't you there when the place isn't working? The numbers are just ridiculous. And I, I cannot pay bills with no money. We're probably in debt $350,000. This is what's going to have to happen. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Our marriage is at a brink because we fight constantly. Fighting and fighting and fighting is not going to get anyone anywhere. We need Chef Ramsay's help because we are at the end of our ropes. If things don't change, I don't know what is going to happen. <laughs> if they don't take Gordon's advice, the marriage is going to fail and the restaurant's going to fail. Cafe Tavellini. Chef Ramsay is aware that Cafe Tavellini has its issues. Taste of Italy. But before he can step in the door to explore, Hi, Gordon. there is one family member who can't wait to unload. How are nice you? to meet you, Van Cole. Can I talk to you for a quick second before we go in? No? Yeah. yeah jump in. Oh, okay. Jump in. I wanted to meet up with Chef Ramsay because I wanted to tell him every little bit of dirt. You obviously got something important to tell me. Yeah. First of all, it's a family business, right? Yeah, family run. And it's your mom and dad who owns it? My mother and my stepfather, yes. Mom and stepfather. Um, are they in there? Yes, he is in there. I just wanted to let you know that the only reason why he's there today is because he found out that you were coming there. So he's not hands-on? No, he'd be in bed right now, actually, if you weren't coming there. <laughs> you are kidding me. He's lost. Oh. He needs your help. And what does mom do? She just basically doesn't want to be there. He blames her for everything, for not being successful. It's always her fault. Um, no thanks problem. for the heads up. Let's just keep this um, between us. Thanks. Take care, bud. Take it easy. Thanks, man. Hi, how are you? Hey, Mr. Ramsey, how are you? Gordon, please. Gordon, good, to see you. good to see you. Sorry, first name is? Uh, Keith Restivo. Keith, manager, owner. Uh, owner, yes. Hi. Along with my wife, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, good, good to see you. See you. So, um, husband and wife team. Yes. Um, any of the members of the family working in the restaurant? Yes, they do. My son, Van. Okay. My daughter, Jolie. So, restaurant's open how many days a week? Seven days a week. Seven. And you're here? Well, I'm here almost every day. I actually don't work during the day. I'm here and all night. Hello. People are going on. And this is? This is Van. Yeah, nice Van. Nice okay, you do? Yeah, work what? here, waiter here. Thank okay, you, brilliant. Uh, how many times uh, a week are you here? Four to five. Four to five. So you're here six days a week, you're here nights only, and you're here four days a week? Four, zero, zero. <laughs> 
Lisa, Keith, you're gonna have to help me out here. Hold on a minute. Well, you're not here, I'm here. I just, I just, we're, we're here. I'm just a little bit confused. First of all, it's six days a week, now it's no days a week. No. I'm just. He's here. Why do I gotta lie? You're not lying, but he's here. But I'm telling you the truth. You just said I'm not lying, so you don't even know. I didn't say that, but you're here. He's here to help. He needs to know the truth. What don't you understand? But he is here during. Okay. Okay, and the more I get up to speed from all of you, the quicker I can look at the scenario. I just want the truth and nothing but the truth. That just helps me tenfold. OK, uh, right, where should I sit? Where, right here, uh, sir. yeah? Yep. Thank you. Let's eat. Yeah? OK. I can about throw me out of the bus. I mean, sat down and the bullshit starts. I told you. Since when did VJ get to the head, the head honcho? Like, what happened? Well, he's running the whole show. Wow, right? uh, huge menu. Ready, or? Uh, yes. Let's start with Grandma's pan-fried meatballs served over house salad. OK. And then a salmon pan-roasted slowly. OK. And the clams. Oh, the stuffed clams. No problem. Thank you. Hi. How, How are, you? are you? Good to see you. Rick. Sorry. Rick. Nice to meet you. Um, what do you do? You're the... Bartender server. Bartender server. Um, what's wrong with the restaurant? Uh, lack of management. Lack of management. Owner's not here very much. Keith, what are you going to do? But I have to pick some liquor up. Um, can I have a quick word with Keith, yeah, please? Yeah. Thank you. Where's Keith? He left. Go get him, hurry up. What a surprise. Oh, he left. Keith is not here on a regular basis. Boy, I want to talk to Keith. Where is he? He left. I could go two or three days without seeing Keith. He doesn't have the concept of the priorities of what needs to be done to make this restaurant work. Why don't you go over there and say he had to leave, go over on his behalf and say he had to leave to get some products for the restaurant? He should have did that earlier. She was reporting, um, Keith left. He had to go run um, up to the store to get pick up our liquor order. Oh. He didn't know that you wanted to he's see gone. him. Is he fed he's, up with it? He's, he's fed up with everything. When he comes in and he sees one thing wrong, he gets all twisted, mm -hmm. and then he jumps in the car and he leaves. Thank you, Lisa. Mm. A meatball salad, a stuffed clams, those are fucking nothing. As fast as you can, Michael. In a way, he's going to like the success feeling. I was a server at Captain Tangolini. I recently moved into the kitchen. Make sure you get cheese on there, please. Which was uh, lagging quite a bit. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Meatball salad. Meatball salad. Fresh ground pepper? Uh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Grandma's meatballs. Look at that. Wow. Right now, that's an insult to grandmothers. That's a mess. Gross. How is it? Big, soggy, dirty pool of juice and crap underneath there. Dreadful. Thank you. Jesus. What did he say about the meatballs? He said that it was it was dreadful, that it was swimming in sauce. Ugh, that was eerie. What's happening? Oh. Did he like he the meatballs? He said that that meatball was fucking horrible. No, what? Crumbled. Stuff to me is pizza horrible. Can I put them in the oven or microwave? All right, put it in the microwave. You'll take a responsibility for that if he says it, all right? I don't want to run about that. <sighs> Stuff to me is taking out of these microwaves? Yeah. You got any stock here? Sad. Stuff clams. Uh, Stuff clams, thank you. The size of them. It looks like some dog shat in my shell. Where's the clam? But where's the clams? It's got to be mixed in there, no? It's mush, but where are the clams? I don't see it either. Uh, taste that, please. Yeah, I was like a little scared to eat off his plate because I thought he was going to stab me with the fork if like, I told him it was good. I just taste breadcrumbs. Does that, does that mean microwave? I mean, it tastes like a stuffing that you'd stick in the arse end of a turkey. I'll take it out of your way. Oh, my God. He said that there's no clams in this. He said that this tastes like a stuffing out of a turkey. Those well, stuffed clams are garbage anyway. Keith, he hates our food. He said that the stuffing in the stuffed clams tastes like it should be from, like, the ass of a turkey or something. Don't you dare blame me for anything like that, OK? Can I have that salmon? Coming right now. Taste of Italy? No. Certainly not in the kitchens. Maybe a taste of the Italian sewers. OK, here we go. Um, I always get nervous when the chefs start decorating the place with parsley. Oops. Undercooked salmon that's stone cold in the middle. Eesh. Mush. 
Van. So we'll do this. T taste the, the rice for me. So you got insepid gloop. When was that made? I think he made that yesterday. Oh, fuck. Yesterday? Yeah. How much was that? 21. $21. So that's a taste of Italian leftovers for $21. Oh, Jesus. Want anything else? Uh, sick bag, maybe. Thank you. Holy fuck. Did you go get the liquor? No. Why? We're about to get reamed right now. He said he, he hates every single thing on the menu. He hates everything that he ate. He said everything is totally, totally disgusting. I'm going to talk to him later. Why do you need to talk to him later? Don't let me elbow you. Um, Stop can it. you give us a line? You don't know. You, you're here at 4 30. You don't know what I do. Watch yourself, bro. Just keep that, just keep that in mind. You're basically just making yourself look like a bigger jackass when you lie about things. So why don't you just come clean? He's obviously here to help you. So let Gordon help you. You have no clue what I do, okay. except when I get here. You're right, you're right. Before you found out he was coming here, who closed your restaurant every night? Ma, stop. Don't stop. say shush. Stop, stop saying shush. What? What's going on back there? He, he's here to help us. Jesus. Somebody call the police? What? Why am I lying? I don't understand how I'm lying. I'm no, being honest that you're never fucking at your restaurant. Your son, not mine. Ignore them right now because you're embarrassing me. Keith, I'm leaving. Not gonna happen. Yes, I am. I'm leaving right now. Shut up! During Chef Ramsay's dismal first meal at Cafe Tavellini, looks like some dumb shat in my shell. The tension between owner Keith and stepson Van. Before you found out he was coming here, who closed your restaurant every night? Stop it! Has erupted into a battle. Keith, I'm leaving. Not gonna happen. And wife and mother Lisa is caught in the crossfire. I'm leaving right now. Shut up! I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna leave. No, you're not leaving. Don't say another word. Then you don't say another word then. What's going on? He gets mad because I'm trying to tell him the truth and he's making me try to look like an idiot in front of you. He can't handle the truth, BK. That's the problem, and you know that. You okay? Yes, sir. What's going on? Oh no, I just a lot of confrontation. Why are you lying? He's here to help us. He's not here because the owners run everything exactly. perfectly. And this is why he's here, and this is what needs to change. And I can't take it. <laughs> Hey, it's don't get upset. What's the matter? I just, it's just, it's just the same stuff that just comes to go look. This business has affected my marriage, totally has affected my family. I'm totally, like, beside myself. You OK? I'm sorry about that. Huh? Don't apologize to me. No, I, no, I already apologize. That's your lady. And I thought, up until now, the food was the biggest problem. Let me tell you, the menu was a fucking disgrace. Hideous. But I, I gotta I definitely apologize for that. OK, I need, uh, I need a break. I'll be back later. Fuck. I'm surprised he's even going to stay here and even deal with us. He did grow up crazy. With a restaurant and a marriage clearly on the line. Please, let's have a quick catch up. Just me and you? Yeah, just you and I, yeah. Chef Ramsay knows he needs to dive in quickly and gather as much information about the financials of Cafe Tavellini. Help me to get up to speed with where we are in business. The money is not coming in. I mean, the, the numbers are disgusting. We had a night a couple of weeks ago. It was $40 in the till. $40? Wow. Our house was foreclosed on. Because of the business? Yep. So we've just been declining and just failing. We can't even take a salary. We could, Keith walks around seriously. That's why he's so stressed out. He doesn't even have a dollar in his pocket. And then as soon as he gets here, he'll see one thing that aggravates him, and then that's when it starts. And this is because the cash was dried up? <sighs> yep. How'd you get through the day? I mean, Christ almighty. I know. I'm so depressed. Some days I just want to hand him divorce papers because I can't take it. If the restaurant closes, I can't see our marriage continuing. You know, it's just, it just makes it so difficult. I mean, I hope you can help us, but I don't, is, it, uh, is it too overwhelming? Let me have a look. I need to see everything in action tonight, OK? OK. After a day filled with arguments, Shut up! tears, <laughs> and accusations, that you're never fucking at your restaurant. 
Chef Ramsay is back to observe a dinner service. When the kitchen is small, it's a box. You cook 70 odd items on the menu from this. Yeah. Did you ever get stuck in the corner? <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I know. I, it's, it's ridiculous. Hi, how are you? News of Chef Ramsay's appearance in Connecticut results in a full restaurant. Right this way, okay, guys? And while customers look to satisfy their appetite... Lobster ravioli. Sure. They aren't the only ones. Can you order me a dinner? No, I can't do that right now. I need a minute. Okay. When you get a minute, can you order me a... Um... No, don't talk to me right now. That's not the way it works. I'm putting my orders in, making sure the customer's happy. Now she wants to eat. I can't. I can't, I can't eat now. Who? Who wants to Lisa eat? Lisa wants me to order dinner. Lisa just doesn't get it. Well, owner Lisa has to wait to place her order. I am starving. Customers in the dining room go. Oh, my goodness. are quickly receiving their food. Too fast. <laughs> Maybe a little too quickly. And Chef Ramsay wants to know why. Did you just did you did you just pull it out of the fridge? Yes, chef. What is that? It's chicken. And why are you cooking them in advance? Because of space. It's space and time. Just touch that. It's hard as a rock. It's fucked. How many portions you got in there cooked ahead? Show me the tray, PJ, please. That's dry than the Nevada desert. These look like they were cooked yesterday. I mean, they're fucking solid. Huh? I mean, I mean, I wouldn't even hang that on a Christmas tree. That chicken is already cooked. It's going to get cooked again. Who the fuck would want to eat this? And he's absolutely right. Lisa, Keith, so I'm trying to go up to speed with the chefs. Just feel that there. Solid chicken. That's like for the chicken parm. They don't make it to order. 32 and 32, yes. Why not? Mm. We've always done it that way. We really didn't know it's a problem. That's just... That's insane. This sucks. Despite a fast start. How's your meal? We haven't had any yet. We're waiting, and it's very long. The disorganized kitchen is now delivering food at a snail's pace. I'm waiting on a cheese ravioli. It's, it's getting hot. Just give it a second. Bro, come on, dude. Be right there, bro. I'm waiting on 13 and 11. I've never seen such a dysfunctional kitchen in all my fucking life. Chris squashed down the corner. The chicken reheated. All these plates have got chips on them. What's all those tickets on the floor? It's just madness. I mean, absolute madness. Where's Lisa? Where's Keith? Is he, like, fucking serious? People haven't gotten their meals in over 45 minutes. The kitchen is just a whole mess. And my mother and Keith were nowhere to be found. Is Mommy and Keith somewhere? They sit in the car for no reason. Keith and my mother are sitting out in the driveway on a crazy, crazy night. I'm starving. We can't handle this. We need help. Well, you know what? Maybe they should come and worry about the problems that are really happening right now. Yeah, like how... That um, the kitchen's a disaster. Chicken bomb, pick it up. My mother ordered this, or is she, she's going to sit in the car and eat it? Is this normal when we get busy? I'm embarrassed now. Why was this ordered under your name? Oh, it's mine. You're going to eat it out here? What am I eating with my my no. fingers? Here, that's what they that's right. what you want. We're, we're, give, me give me the fork. Stuffed pork chop, primavera white with penne. While the two owners dine in the car. Where's my bus girl? I got a far valley. Here's your chicken and sausage. I have 21 and 22. Michael does his best to rally the staff and complete dinner service. Oh, spaghetti and meatball. Let's get out of here, boys. Okay. I'm going to get straight to the point. You two, you've been abusing your restaurant. Van gets angry. Michael gets frustrated. Ricky gets upset. The owners, I didn't see you get upset. I saw you walk outside with a coat on, and you were sat in the car. It's a joke! Keith, help me! I, uh, my passion is a little, uh, uh you know, down. But if you got behind this bar and you got on the floor and you did something to show you care, people see that. Customers aren't going to care about your business if you don't give a fuck about it. And the two of you said it on a million occasions, walking the place, I don't even give a fuck about this place anymore. I hope it fucking burns. Well, you know what? That's what it's doing, burning right to the fucking ground.
while Lisa's daughter, Jolie, eloquently sums up a miserable evening. Customers aren't gonna care about your business if you don't give a fuck about it. And a frustrating performance by her parents. Why was this ordered under your name? Oh, it's mine. You're gonna eat it out here? Chef Ramsay realizes he has to do something drastic. So the following day... Oh my God, look at the restaurant. He gives Keith and Lisa a dose of shock therapy. What the, what is that? Out of business, clothes plastered against the whole side of the building, and uh, I just can't believe it. What does this mean? We can't even get in. What's going on? Well, I wish I could say good morning, because it's not a good morning. Don't bother crossing the line. You're shut down. You're out of business. Keith? It's fucked up. I mean, I, I just, it's not what I wanted. It's too much money invested in this place. This is not good. I wrote That's you a letter, letter last year. night. Can you read it? Dear Gordon, I want you to know that you have touched home with your perception of Keith and I. We are guilty of negligence and irresponsibility on our part. Keith and I have let our staff and customers down due to a lack of our participation at the restaurant. Keith and I were oblivious to so much before you spoke to us tonight. We were in denial. <clears throat> we were in denial of all of our faults. Our plea to you is not to give up hope on us. Keith and I are willing to make drastic changes in our lives to save our restaurant. Unfortunately, we need the guidance in, in to be able to turn this place around for the best. We have our full commitment from Keith and I that we will work as hard as we can to make the changes. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming to Cafe Tavolini and opening up our eyes. This is exactly what I needed to hear. I'm not giving up. This is a wake-up call. You're not closed today, but this will be the result if we don't start now, and I mean now. Today we start the comeback, and I need both of you to be committed. Okay. I hear you, I hear you loud and clear. Let's get inside. Owners Keith and Lisa have convinced Chef Ramsay that they are now committed to the restaurant. But Chef Ramsay is not the only one that needs convincing. Keith and Lisa, address your team. I just wanted to apologize to the staff for our negligence, giving up on something which I know is everybody's livelihood here. I love you guys for being here. You've been with us since day one. And if you really didn't care about us, you would never be here. And I really appreciate it. And I do want to get it to a better point. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what I would do. You guys really are a great staff, and you really have stuck by us. And it's our fault because we just just gave up because we just couldn't handle the pressure. I realized that I needed to be more um, hands-on. It's going to be a personal goal of mine to, you know, work at it. I think Keith and my mom are definitely uh, sincere about what's going on. I think it's definitely an eye-opener for them. Everything here in the last five years has been negative, so it was definitely a breath of fresh air. For tonight's dinner service, Chef Ramsay institutes some major changes. We have to stand out from the competition, so we need to do something that no one else is doing. A family-style menu that features a Tuscan bean soup, porchetta with roasted vegetables, and olive oil cake. A menu family style has to show convenience for the kitchen, and the customers will help themselves. Service becomes a lot more efficient, and the kitchen gets out of the weeds. It is a very small kitchen. Family-style dining should help that kitchen run more smoothly. And for the first time, the two owners are hands-on and working tonight. Owners Keith and Lisa will have active roles in their restaurant. Lisa, you're going to roll your sleeves up tonight. You're serving. There you go. But I haven't exactly. been a server before. You're going to be a server tonight. Keith, 
Now, I want you physically on the floor. What are you good at doing? I could make up a cocktail and I could promote it. Good. I like that. I've never surfed before. I used to be a little bit scary. I didn't see that coming at all. OK, let's go. We're opening in eight minutes. Yeah, let's go. There's definitely a new energy in the restaurant tonight. When I order it in the computer, am I hitting two? That means the party at two. Go over there now, I'll show you a quick. And both owners are optimistic. What are you going to do? Uh, pomegranate bellinis. Yeah, it sounds amazing. And so is Chef Ramsay. A pomegranate bellini. I don't know what's in store for tonight, but I know that I'm definitely going to hit up the fucking church down the road and pray before I go on the floor tonight. We're offering a family style tonight. So you guys make a decision, and I'll be back in a few. There's nothing fancy style around Bellini would be our special uh, dinner drink. We should get a round of those. Keith has wanted an active role. I just don't think he actually knew that he was able to do that. Is this your creation? This is delicious. Oh, good. Thank you. Eight in a flash. Eight one. Eight millennials. OK, good. Lisa, service. Yeah, that looks good. Would you like another beer? OK. OK. So proud you do doing such a nice job, Lisa. Being a server, it actually felt good. Oh, it smells delicious. Smell delicious. Would you like some fresh um, pepper? Yeah. Sure. To hear firsthand comments about the food, it was exciting. But it's so nice to see you being involved. It's, it's, it brings you closer, not just to the customers, but to your team. With the owners and staff hard at work. Man, table 12. Here we go. The service is off to a good start. Hey, I love this. And the diners love the family style specials. These are awesome. But the customers who order from the regular menu it's taken are having a completely different experience. Where's our food? Do you go family style or do you go off the menu? Should we have gone family style? Family style, it, it seems to be coming out a little faster. Everybody OK? Your tables are good? No, they're not all right. I'm starting to at this point. Michael, I'm waiting on 32. Can I get table 21, please? They've been waiting for an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Right now, I'm waiting on a flight out of here. Let's complete a fucking table and see if we get our shit together. Look at all those tickets. Oh, God almighty. This is crazy. Everybody, come here. Come here. Come here. You guys have to seriously get a fucking grip. And Lisa, Keith, yeah. you can't run a restaurant with a 70-item menu from this kitchen. Insane. If I was the owner, I would want to look after every single person that hasn't gotten their meal, say, hey, can I get you guys a dessert? Can I get you guys a drink? I'm sorry. My mother was just walking around aimlessly, and Keith wasn't doing anything. They just really showed no ownership skills tonight. Could Keith stopping like that? Look, 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 look. I mean, I'm, yeah, honestly, what's the matter with it? Sorry, guys. I know it's hectic, but I'm just going to be right back in. Nightmare. I didn't know what to do. I was just too embarrassed to even go up to any tables to apologize. I just kind of zoned out and couldn't do anything. Where's Keith? He's not out at the liquor store for a hot dog. Where is he? While Keith and Lisa failed to tackle tonight's problems, Ricky needs a new ball platter for four. I need it now. A leader has emerged in the kitchen. You got it. Michael steps up and does his best to push orders out. I got any meatballs, Chris? Thank you. I got any meatballs? Take it. After that, what's next? Come on. I need a stuffed pork chop, a chicken parm, Mediterranean, and a meatball platter. So porchetta, meatballs, broccoli, rub. And as a result, the remaining a la carte orders start hitting the tables. This is your final table here. Fettuccine Mediterranean. Thanks for coming. Come back and see us. OK. First, let me start with the positive. The family-style menu came out quicker, and it satisfied the customers. Considering the size of the kitchen, it's clearly the direction this restaurant needs to start moving towards. But we have a long way to go. Lisa, Keith. Charlie, describe Keith's performance tonight. I thought in the beginning Keith had a lot of uh, good energy. I do have to say, when shit hits the fan, you kind of disappeared. Keith, please. That stuff, sh that should not happen. Oh, God. Keith, you've got to understand. It's your business. Never, ever feel agitated, nervous about working inside your business. 
There's going to be a big change tomorrow. We're going to relaunch this restaurant. But Lisa and Keith, relaunch yourselves. And if you're not going to do that, then fucking close that door. It may have been a rough dinner service. Look at all those tickets. Oh, God almighty. This is crazy. But the new commitment of Lisa and Keith... How are you doing such a nice job, Lisa? ...was just enough to convince Chef Ramsay to go ahead with his plan of giving Tavellini a much-needed makeover. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Chef. How's everybody feeling? Nervous. Nervous. Look at this, my hand is shaking. <laughs> OK, today we relaunch your restaurants on the count of three. One. Are you crying, Lee? I'm already crying. Two. Oh, one, uh, and three. Wow! Amazing. It's really gorgeous. Oh, my Stunning. God. Welcome to new Tafalini. Oh, my lord. Modern. Elegant. And beautiful. It really is emotional. Gordon's brought some energy back to a place that was really, really lacking. We've warmed up the dining rooms with a nice, fresh champagne. Wonderful color. It's really gorgeous. A textured art wall. Stunning. Look at your tables. New plates without any chips in there. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, Van. <laughs> what do you think? It's a new restaurant. It's gorgeous. It's the complete makeover. It's a home run. Huh? Thank you. Is that lovely? Amazing, yes. OK, there's more. I want you to come through to the kitchen now. Come in. Right. Look at the space. Oh, my god. This kitchen looks huge. Wow. Come in. There's more space down here as well. <laughs> come in, Michael. <laughs> come in. Come in, come in, oh come in. God. A proper kitchen that's been decluttered. Oh, my god. I didn't think we could do this in here. Michael, how does it feel? Uh, it feels amazing, Chef. Yeah? yeah, it really does. I look forward to working in there. It's going to be a breath of fresh air. OK, come outside. One more thing. There you go. Oh, my god! Tavellini, family-style dining. Oh, my god! A complete new identity. Very, very happy. It was so refreshing and so new and so different. So excited that you just really want to just get to work and show it off to everybody. That's your family up there. Family-style right. dining, That's yes? That's exactly right. Come in. Welcome to Tavellini's new exciting menu. Entrees, herb roasted chicken, roasted with lemon, thyme and garlic. Branzino, equivalent to a sort of striped sea bass, beautifully pan roasted, served with fennel and lemon. A real classic Italian, a stunning ozzabuco, veal demi glace and gremolata. So delicious. Everything is available, family style and a la carte. I want to sit down and have dinner here. <laughs> Get some forks and start tasting. That sauce. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, my God. This is going to be such a talk of the town. People are definitely going to want to come here and eat because the food is just amazing. With Cafe Tavellini ready for relaunch. Hi. Welcome. Your server will explain the new menu to you. And Chef Ramsay's new menu in place. The individual portion or a family portion. So oh, you can, like you can get a couple of different things. Oh, yeah. It's really That's... cool. It's time for Keith and Lisa to show that they are capable of leading and managing their restaurant. Hi, folks. Hi. Welcome to Tavellini. How are you? Good. I'll be bopping around tonight, making sure everything's fine. And thank you for coming in. Tonight, I need to give my all to try to make this restaurant a success, but I'm just nervous as shit. Branzino is it, uh, it's the roasted fun. I don't know what that is. Look at that. What are you doing? Branzino. Yeah. Uh -oh. The Branzino is what? It's pork? Fish. That's a fish, yeah. Well, actually, it's a uh, it's, it's similar to it's a fish dish. Oh. Tail on, head off. And it's, it's, it's a little similar to a. Um, uh, it's, not, a not, it's a white fish. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Michael, we got a Tuscan soup. Cauliflower, mushroom polenta. Excellent. These first eight, nine tables are crucial, yes? Yes. Talk together, yes? It's a half hour into dinner service. Table six in the window. And the kitchen led by Michael is humming. For this table right now, I just need a crostini and a calamari. Nice, nice, nice. Lovely. Enjoy. Good. 
And it appears as though everyone is loving the new Tavellini experience. It's really, really exciting. I'm glad you're excited. My heart is not stopped. OK, good. Really, really Let's happy. keep it that way. Yeah. Half an hour to the service, yes. keep it going, yes? Everything's going really, really well. It reminded me of five years ago when we first opened, and we had this vibe, and I always wanted to be here when it was busy. Pete, hey, what's the overall consensus? Are they happy? Are they enjoying it? So far, so good. That's very tasty. Very tasty. It's now an hour into service, and Tavellini's new appetizers are a hit. I love it. But back in the kitchen... I got two Tuscan beans coming for you as well with the two muscles, Danny. What two muscles? The smooth-running machine has now hit a major speed bump. You're plating two muscles right now. And the dinner service is about to crumble. Michael, was this my calamari, right? Is that right? Is this Lisa's table, Dan? No, this is Van's table coming. I don't know. See, this is... I'm getting a little lost. Dan, you got to tell me what you give me. What table no, I'm just... Mike, you got tickets over there, too. I told you, Michael. What's coming next? I'm a little fucked up with the tickets for some reason. There's another disaster in the kitchen. It's a big clusterfuck here now. Nobody knows what's going on anymore. There's so much shit. Is it not even funny? Mushrooms, please. Where's my mushroom polenta? Mushroom polenta's coming right now. We've been waiting how long? An hour and a half? Uh, it's yeah. taking forever. Uh, Danny, how long for the polenta? For the polenta, we're using this right here. I know how to fucking cook it, but how long? Just, just hold on one second. Come on, That's what The kitchen is just a whole mess. Michael. What? Michael what? Five's meal. Have they gotten anything yet? No. <sighs> it's like the worst fucking thing you can ever ask for. Come on, man. It's two hours into dinner service, and the confusion in the kitchen... It's so much shit, is it not even funny? ...is putting a successful relaunch in jeopardy. I'm a little fucked up with the tickets for some reason. Where's Keith? And Chef Ramsay knows that there is no better time than now for these formerly passive owners to step up. Keith! Yes, sir. You know this is not right. I, without a doubt. Get it together, please. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. I do. Yes, Come I on do. then. Chef Ramsay lit a fire under my butt. Keith, I need you now to pull this back. I realized that I needed to get my hands dirty to make this thing a success. So what, what, so what should we do now? You gotta persevere, guys. You gotta persevere. Keith, get behind the line and get them together. OK, what we got to do is try to work together as a team. It's going to take a minute, but we have to focus here. Yes, sir. All right, baby. Let's do this. Look, we're going with Lisa's table, then we're going with Van. With Keith and Lisa now actively supporting their team. Guys, everything is fabulous. The kitchen somehow manages to recover. Table 10 is what I'm picking up. Calamari and a roasted chicken, right? That's it. Here, Michael. Thanks, pal. And pushes out the remainder of the dishes. This is table 15 for Lisa. Good. Very good. To very content customers. Yeah. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. That's it. That's done. That's gone. Perfect, bro. We're beautiful. Guys, I'm really, really proud of you. You guys are a really amazing team. Thank you, boss. If we can have Tavolini be successful like tonight, I think everything will, will work itself out and our marriage will have a chance to be successful too. Great. Have a great night. Everything was wonderful. I appreciate that. That makes makes my night. Thank you. OK. Tonight, we were teetering on disaster. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish your service. Lisa and Keith, you did a bloody good job. Well done. You all did a good job. Thank you, Chef. I think we have a lot of work still ahead of us. Um, I think tonight was just a stepping stone. Absolutely right. Lisa, Keith, you've been given a second chance. This restaurant needs you, not just the dining room, but the kitchen. Yes, absolutely. Keith. Loud and clear, Chef. Loud and clear. Well, I think that Gordon's motivation brought some positive energy back to a place that was really, really lacking anything positive. Lisa, I can't do any more. I come back, and that front door is boarded up. I'm going to be so upset. It won't be. Look after your family. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. Take care. It is a little scary that Gordon is leaving. You know, we have a long way ahead of us now, and we have to really, you know, just get to work. Don't you stop. OK? Thank you for helping my family. Yep, keep it going. We have such a foundation to work from, but with our family problems, with the restaurant issues all in one, it needs to start from the bottom up, and I think we need to start from a clean slate to, uh, you know, be successful. Unbelievable. I'm actually shocked that this has ended on a positive note.
And who would have thought that a family being ripped apart has been saved by family-style dining? That's exactly what happened here at Tavellini. Finally, a taste of Italy. Grazie. In the weeks that followed... Yo, you find it a little funny that they're outside arguing right now? Keith and Lisa struggled with their new roles as leaders. It's too much for me. And didn't commit to the restaurant the way Chef Ramsay had hoped. I need to have a puff of my cigar. In addition, a rocky marriage that was moving in the right direction is now over. What is going on here? Okay, do me a favor, because I would I'd advise you to zip it up. Keith and Lisa have separated. Jerk. And the future of Tavellini is uncertain. The doors are now closed, and one wonders if they will ever open again.